If you're going to use Microsoft Visio for more than one diagram in your life, you're almost certainly going to need to do some work to prepare for the next time you need to make this diagram, whether it's an org chart like I have on my screen or a timeline or a flow chart, what have you. Um, at that point, you're going to want to think through the sorts of things that you need to reuse over and over again when you make your diagram. Let me give you an example of that. Let's say I'm making an org chart and um, I decide that, uh, of course, it starts at the top with some sort of manager or executive and that there are different uh, positions underneath that executive and that there are different positions underneath each of those individuals. And then I realize that one of these wings of the org chart is actually handled by contractors, or it's under a different corporate umbrella, or uh, it's just named differently, or it's a different department, things along those lines. One of the most common things you're going to see is using color to show people where different branches of the organization are. So for example here, I might go to this position, this individual right over here, click on the shape for that person, then go into the fill drop down menu and make that orange, and go into the line drop down menu and make that dark orange. Okay, so I'm feeling good about my use of this color for this particular branch of the organization, but I don't want to have to redo this every time that I make this diagram. Uh, and in fact, I don't want to have to reformat things as I work in this diagram here. So I'd like to be able to save this shape. And the same thing happens basically everywhere in Visio. You have these shapes that you customize, whether it's a flowchart shape, whatever it happens to be, changing color, changing font, uh, things like that is going to be a customization. So then what you can do is you can save this into your stencils on the left-hand side. But unfortunately, you can't change the stencil that Microsoft gives you. As you can see, this belt organization chart shapes uh, stencil right here. This is the way Microsoft gives it to us and we can't customize it. But what we can do is go to more shapes over here on the left hand side, choose new stencil, and I'm using US units because I'm in America of course, but uh, you can go with metric if you prefer. Go to new stencil and US units. As you can see I've got this new thing just called stencil 2 with a little red asterisk on it. So I'm going to go to where it says stencil 2, right click on it and choose to um, save it as custom organization chart shapes. And you can see there that the name gets populated here as well as the file name. And then what you do is you literally just take the shape that's on your diagram, click and drag it onto your organization chart shapes stencil over here. You probably wanna take a moment, right click on master.2 right here and choose rename. And I'm going to call this one uh, contractor. And at the end of this, I hit the save icon in the top right hand corner, and I have this stencil saved. Now, the next time that I make an organization chart, I'll just go to file, down to new, make a new organization chart. And of course, you know, I'm dragging out executives and positions and, and everything else. And of course, I'm dragging out executives and uh, let's see here, multiple positions like that. And then I realize, oh, you know what? I need to make a branch of this that are contractors. All you do is go to the more shapes menu right here, choose my shapes, and there's my custom organization chart shapes. And now I can grab that contractor shape right there and put a contractor onto that part of my org chart. And so you can see how being able to build a custom set of shapes and save those into a custom stencil 
can be a really valuable thing when you're recreating the same diagram or complementary diagrams on a regular basis.